Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do is going to be the next installment of my March Madness series. All right, so if you haven't seen, there are two other previous episodes. I can link them down below. We have the intro video going over what this series is, what the game is. Last week was also the giveaway video. So if you haven't checked those details out yet, those are listed down below. So in today's March Madness episode, I'm gonna be going over the top two in each category that have been voted on by you and we are going to vote again this week so I will explain that in a few minutes here and next week's episode of March Madness is going to be the full face of the topped ranked makeup also if you guys did fill out your bracket you can see how you did if you guys if you guys got all of the choices right if you got some right if you didn't get any right so that is what we are going to be doing so uh, again, if you have not been following March Madness, this is the third year that I have done this. Basically, it's just a game. When we kick it off, I have you fill out a bracket. The first episode, I show all of the different categories and the different products in the categories. I have you fill out a bracket or a Google form, uh, and you are trying to guess what will be the winners at the end of the March Madness finale, and then I do give out giveaway prizes for those who have the most correct. So the brackets are already closed. You could only fill them out before the voting started so obviously it kind of has to run that way so those are closed i went over the giveaway boxes last week and i'm really excited to share the top two in each category because i'm not gonna lie i there was some surprises and i filled out the bracket myself and i'm not doing the best <laughs> I was a little bit surprised so I am going to show the top two in each category and then like I said we are going to be voting again this week so it's really important that you vote this week because next week I'm doing the top face the top face no the full face of the top ranked makeup I am filming this on Monday night it is almost eight o'clock but I wanted to let the polls go as long <laughs> as long as I could and I just closed them all down and picked out all the products and everything so I'm getting kind of tired um and I don't know how my makeup is looking right now because it's been on since 11 o'clock this morning but you know it's all good I do have an Instagram tutorial on this eye look if it's not up yet it will be coming soon like I said voting is very important and the voting happens on my community tab so if you go to like my my YouTube channel if you access my YouTube channel on the top door there's a bunch of different tabs that say video and playlist you will see the community tab and that is where all of the different polls will be so make sure to vote and I will see you next week for the full face of finale and like I said, I was a little bit surprised at some of these, so I'm kind of unsure what's going to win next week. And I'm really curious, let me know in the comments definitely, how are your guys' choices coming along? How is your bracket looking? But let's jump into it. Okay, so I have all the results on my phone. Now, I started off with eyeshadow palettes. So it was between Tati Beauty, the ColourPop Glow and Coconuts palette, the Natasha Denona Mini Glam, and then I have a little uh, palette of Makeup Geek singles. And we had with 43% was the Tati Beauty. I don't know why I was so surprised about this one, but I kind of was. But I'm also kind of excited because I really, really like this palette and I feel like there's a lot of different looks I could do with this one, uh, but this was the the number one at 43%, and then cl close behind at 32% was the ColourPop Going Coconuts. I really am not super surprised to see this one. I thought this one would actually have more votes than the Tattoo Beauty, but uh, I'm also not surprised to see Going Coconuts from ColourPop, and I also do love this palette. So these are the top two palettes. That are moving along. This was a really interesting category because these are only a different of 1% with the top two. So in the lips, I had um, a ColourPop lip liner and a Milani lip gloss, also a Pat McGrath lip liner and a Lawless Beauty lip gloss, Charlotte Tilbury Very Victoria, and the Carly Bible Il Maquillage, um, was it the Venus lipstick, I think it was, which is the red lipstick. And at 38% was the ColourPop and the Milani. So we have ColourPop Oh Snap, which is a nude pink, and then the Milani Keep It Full lip gloss in nude shimmer. It's actually the gloss that I have on right now. I have on a ColourPop lipstick, actually. It's called Still Crazy. When I filmed for the Instagram video, I was using the collection that my friend Makeup Just For Fun collabed with uh, ColourPop on. So I have the lilac palette on my eyes, and then that lipstick is the one that she chose in her collection. And it's been a while since I put it on. I've eaten dinner. 
I mean, it's my birthday, so, like, as I'm filming this, my birthday was Monday. Like, so, of course, when Mitch was like, what do you want for dinner, I was like, nachos. So, uh, it's been a while. So, I just topped the lipstick with some of this Milani gloss, and I really do like it. So, that is one option, the lip liner and the lip gloss duo. And then, right behind it, so that was at 38%, right behind it at 37% was the Charlotte Tilbury Very Victoria. And I was like, wow, that was that was close so we have drugstore versus high-end which i think is really interesting with this one but very victoria is just a really beautiful kind of like a deeper nude um but i'm i'm excited to see that these two were the winners and it was interesting to see how close they were okay, the next category we had was highlighters so for highlighters you could choose between benefit cookie the lawless beauty highlighter the color pout porcelain carriage highlighter and also the jacqueline cosmetics bomb loose highlighter so benefit cookie kind of ran away with this one this was at 48 percent i'm not super surprised to see that because i know a lot of people do love the benefit cookie highlight but i was like wow that really that really kind of like stole this category so i'm very curious if it's going to be like the top top one uh and then at 29 percent we have the one from ColourPop. this is in horse and carriage um i have been trying to link it it is gone now it was in collaboration with disney so I'm, yeah, i knew that it was only a limited time but it is now gone from the website but it is also really really beautiful so once again we have high end high end versus uh, affordable so i'm i'm pretty curious is benefit going to like just run away with it again or can ColourPop overtake it i don't i literally i have no idea <laughs> moving on to the primer category so we had choices from first aid beauty tatcha ula henriksen and milk makeup so at 45 percent once again really kind of ran away with it this is from tatcha this is the liquid silk canvas so i do not have the original silk canvas from tatcha but they did recently send me the liquid silk canvas i've tried it a few times and i do think that it's really nice but at 45 percent this was another one that was kind of running away with it and then the other two were really close first aid beauties at 23 percent milk makeup was at 22 percent so very close there uh but at 23 percent is a first aid beauty so the one that i showed in the kickoff video was the pores be gone matte primer so both of these are i mean the touch is a little bit more smoothing but i would say the first aid beauty is smoothing as well and more mattifying but this is also really nice and pore filling so um kind of like similar primers here so again what's it gonna be what's it gonna be i don't know <laughs> mascara i thought was a very interesting category at 47 percent no i didn't even tell you all of them let me tell you we had choices from fenty beauty ilia beauty over cosmetics and benefit and at 47 percent was the benefit bad gal bang I put this in here it was kind of like my la I was going like I was trying to find a fourth one and I was like I want to do the one from benefit because I feel like so many people love this mascara I really like the mascara I think that it's a good one but I don't like I'm not die hard for it like so many people are and to have it be at 47% I was like I'm not surprised so many people love this mascara so uh that is one contender the benefit bad gal bang and then at 34 percent so not too far behind but is the one from fenty beauty this is the full frontal volume lift and curl mascara i just have a mini because it was like a point for at sephora but again i feel like both of these are really really good mascaras i I feel like I like the Fenty almost a little bit more. I like that it makes my lashes so black, but also long and full. But unfortunately, with both of these mascaras, I get transfer, which bums me out. And it's funny because with the Ilia Beauty and the Ofer Cosmetics, the other two in the category, I do not get any smudging, no transfer, anything like that. So I'm like, oh man. Uh, but these are your two choices for mascara benefit versus Fenty. To one of the most interesting categories, because we actually had a tie for second place with foundations. So every other category, we have two moving forward, but for foundations, we actually have three because there was a tie for the second place. So winning out um, kind of the top vote at 31% is from Fenty Beauty. I was surprised, honestly. This is the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. Honestly surprised at this one because I feel like in all of the foundation craze when all the foundations were coming out, I truly feel like Fenty wasn't talked about as much 
after the craze was over after like everything kind of settled down and then you see people reaching for foundations in other videos i feel like i don't see the fenty being used a ton so i was really surprised that this took the top votes but 31 percent is the one from Fenty Beauty. Uh, so at 26% each, these both tied at 26%, we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous of Foundation and then the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. So the fourth one and the one that is not moving on is my personal favorite foundation, the Pat McGrath Foundation, but that's okay because the series isn't about me, it's about you. And those are the three out of the four foundations moving on. So these tied, Anastasia and Shiseido. Super, super curious about this. And now I am just, I have no, like, I don't know because I still think it's pretty close. 31%, 26 and 26, like, I honestly have no idea what foundation is going to win. Concealer category made me chuckle a little bit because again we had kind of like a runaway vote and that is the e.l.f. Cosmetics 16 hour camo concealer. This was at 48% and I was like really because it's kind it's it's an older release but it still shows me that so many people love this one. So the other contenders were the Armani Power Fabric, the Charlotte Tilbury Vanish uh, under eye concealer and then the covergirl undercover concealer and the covergirl is the other one that's moving forward and this is at 19 percent so 48 percent to 19 percent like can covergirl somehow beat the elf i don't know it's funny because i find these to be kind of similar concealers to one another they're both pretty full coverage yet they're still i think that they're easy to blend out i think they both still look really nice on the under eyes i think both of them are great i've recommended each of these several times and they're very affordable which is awesome so uh, i think it's funny in the concealer category these two and knocked off the like high-end luxury competitors so who's it gonna be elf or cover girl. powder category i think this one had the highest percentage for the first vote i have no idea how i'm supposed to be saying that but you know what i'm saying um so for powders i had choices between revlon laura mercier pat mcgrath and by terry and laura mercier really took the lead on this one with 60 percent of the votes going to this so I feel like it is going to be really really tough to beat out the Laura Mercier but at 60% uh, and then the next one and then the other ones were really close uh, Revlon and by Terry tied at 13% but at 14% just one above was the Pat McGrath powder this is another one that I think is really great this is the skin fetish sublime perfection setting powder this is in my shop my stash bag and I've been using it so much this month but I think it's great but it's like is this one does it have any chance against the laura mercier which this is just the classic translucent powder which is like an og of youtube do not know if the pat mcgrath is going to be able to top it i don't know on to the blush category so for blushes the choices were between ColourPop, cover effects ilia beauty and charlotte tilbury this one was pretty close but at 36 percent we have the one from cover effects this is the warm honey blush so this is a blush duo with a matte side and a shimmer side i had a feeling that this one was gonna be at least in the top two because a lot of people love these blush duos from cover effects i like them but they're it's almost like just like it's just a little bit too much i just feel like i have to be so careful when i use this blush duo it's still really pretty i love the warm honey shade but i'm really i'm not surprised to see it moving on and then i was actually really excited because i do like this blush a lot at 32 percent is the one from charlotte tilbury so this is one of the cheek to chic blushes and this shade is in pillow talk this is a little bit newer to me but i have been loving the charlotte tilbury blushes since i started trying them out so i was really excited to see it and again it's pretty close between the cover effects and the charlotte tilbury i'm really not sure which one is gonna take the lead so i don't know i'd love to hear i like i hope that you're gonna be sounding off in the comments because it's fun for me to read through them i saw a lot of discussions happening uh in last week's video and people trying to like you know help convince other people what maybe they should vote for what their favorites or why one is better than the other and all of that so it was really fun to read the comments but i think blushes are going to be a really tight finish I have one category left and that is bronzer so the choices were between ColourPop, elf cosmetics a lawless beauty and Too faced i'm not really surprised to see that Too faced got the most votes at 42 percent this is the sun puppy bronzer this is a limited edition bronzer that released recently and i know a lot of people have been 
been loving it for the packaging. I was seeing this pop up in a lot of the comments last week too. Uh, a lot of people seemed pretty excited about this one, but again, that was at 42%. And then the other one at 25% is from ColourPop. So this is the Talk to the Palm Pressed Bronzer that came out in the Coconut Collection. This honestly is not the best shade of bronzer for me. I would say the Too Faced is a little bit better, but it's not like, it's not bad, like it works. Um, but I, I don't know, I kind of thought it was interesting. I I thought maybe the e.l.f. cosmetics might edge it out, and it was pretty close. The ColourPop was 25% and the e.l.f. was 22%, but a lot of people seem to like the primer infused blush and bronzers from e.l.f., so I was kind of thinking maybe that one would top the ColourPop, but I also know a lot of people love ColourPop. The, the few categories that I had ColourPop in, I don't know if they won all of the categories, but it was probably pretty close. Highlighter, lips, eyeshadow palette, bronzer, like... A lot of people just really love on ColourPop, which I understand, but those are the two bronzers that you can choose from. And after that, those are the results from our first round of voting. Those are the top two or three. Moving on in each category, and again, it is now your time. It is your turn. It is time to vote. Head over to my community tab. Vote for the one that you want to see the winner, the one in next week's video. I'm really excited to do it. Thank you to everyone who has been playing along in the March Madness series. I definitely do appreciate it so much. I hope that you've been having fun with it since we were not able to have a March Madness series this year basketball wise which I always look forward to I hope that this game has been fun or that it was just fun to see the votes come in and see what people are voting for and I'm just really looking forward to next week so thank you to everyone who has been playing along it's always so much fun for me to do this series but other than that though if you guys did enjoy this video I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in my next video bye